Hello guys, today I am going to discuss the topic uh, multimedia data mining. So let's see the video on multimedia data mining. So first of all, what is meant by multimedia databases? So what type of data will be there in the multimedia databases? How it is going to store the data? How we are going to retrieve such a multimedia information? So let's see. So multimedia databases means uh, it will store and it will manage the large collection of multimedia data such as audio data will be there, video data, images or graphics or any speech text or any documents or any hypertext data which will contain some text markups and the linkages will be there. So multimedia databases uh, nowadays it has been drastically increasing in the nowadays uh, uh, in the today's world uh, like uh, because of having uh, uh, the uh, digitized world uh, we are having lot of digital equipments are there or electronic equipments are there digital cameras anything is everything is digitized here where we can fetch the multimedia data very easily here so typical some few examples of these multimedia database systems means i can store the nasa's earth related information or geographical observation systems in the form of images or uh, audio or video databases or in the form of internet also I can store the information in the multimedia data mining. So uh, here these are the subtopics in the multimedia data mining that is the similarity search in the multimedia, how to find the similarity search in the multimedia data and uh, what is meant by multidimensional analysis of the multimedia data and uh, what is meant by classification and prediction analysis of the multimedia data, how to mine the association rules in the multimedia data and audio and video data mining. These are the few topics in the multimedia data mining. Next, uh, what are the two families of multimedia indexing and the retrieval methods? What are the two different types of indexing and the retrieval methods for the multimedia data mining? So first one is the description based retrieval systems. What is meant by description based retrieval systems means it will build the indexes and it will perform the object retrieval based upon the image descriptions. Based upon the image descriptions means such as I can use the keywords or I can use the captions, size of the image or time of the creation. I can use any of these image descriptions to retrieve the proper multimedia data. Next one is the content based retrieval methods. What is meant by content based retrieval methods means so it will support uh, the retrieval based upon the image content. What is meant by the image content here? I can take the color histograms or the texture patterns or the textures or the image topologies, the shape of the objects, their layout and the locations within the images. So if the retrieval is based upon the content that is called as the content based retrieval systems or if the retrieval is completely based upon the keywords or the description of the images means that is the description based retrieval systems. So two kinds of retrieval systems are there in the multimedia data mining. Next one is if the content based image retrieval system again in the content based image retrieval we are having two kinds of queries are there. One is image sample based queries and second one is the image feature specification queries. Let's see what is this uh, image sample based queries. So image sample based queries means uh, finding all the images that are similar to the given image sample. If I upload any one image means uh, I will try to find out the similar images of the given uploaded sample here. So how the search factor will be done means it will compass the it will compass the feature vector which is extracted from the sample with the feature vectors of the images that have already been extracted and indexed in the image databases in the image databases based upon this comparison only the images which are close to the sample images will be returned that is called as image sample based queries. Next one is the image feature specification queries. What is meant by image feature specification queries here? So it will specify or sketch the image features like color, texture or shape which are translated. That means I can take any of these image features. I can take the color, I can take the shape, 
टेक्सचर और एक घंटे क्या लाइक देर इमेज आईडीज और इमेज क्रिएशन हु क्रिएटेड द इमेजेस सो आई कैन टेक एनी ऑफ दीज फीचर वेक्टर्स एंड आई कैन ट्रांसलेट इट एंड आई विल ट्राई टू मैच विथ द फीचर वेक्टर्स ऑफ ऑल द इमेजेस इन द डेटा बेसिस दिस इज वन टाइप ऑफ मैचिंग ऑफ द इमेज स्पेसिफिकेशन दैट मीन्स मैचिंग वन फीचर्स विथ द ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड फीचर्स इन द डेटा बेसिस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इमेज फीचर स्पेसिफिकेशन क्वेरीज so here content based retrieval has wide number of applications like i am having the medical diagnosis applications are there weather prediction applications are there tv production web search engines and many other applications are there for the content based retrieval methods see these are the few applications for the content based retrieval so we are having one more terminology like uh, qbic what is this qbic means sir uh, query by image content what is my qbic means query by image content so it will support both the things like uh, sample based and the image feature specification queries so what are the approaches for the similarity based retrieval in the image database uh, based upon the image signatures based upon the image signatures so i am having the four i am having the four types of uh, signatures are there for the similarity based retrieval methods that is the color histogram based signature second one is the multi feature composed signatures third one is the wavelet based signature and next one is the wavelet based signatures with the region based granularities so the similarity based retrieval can be represented using the four different types of uh, methods first one is the color histogram based signature what is this color histogram based signature here so the image signature it will includes the color histogram based upon the color composition of the image so no information about the shape location or the texture will be given no information i am not giving any type of information like uh, the image shape their color or the texture so just i will find out whether the two images with similar colors it is going to represent the unrelated semantics or the related semantics so finding or retrieving any image based upon these colors is called as the color histogram based signature next one is the multi feature composed signature multi feature means image signature includes a composition of multiple features multiple features like a color histogram shape location and texture so separate distance function for each feature i am having the separate distance function for each features are there and few features are used to search the images with the similar features few features are used to search for the images with the similar features that means i can search the images based upon the histograms or shape or location or texture these are my multiple features so with the help of these features only i can retrieve the relevant content or the relevant images next one is the wavelet based signature what is meant by the wavelet based signature means uh, image signature includes the wavelet coefficients of an image that means for each and every image we are going to consider the wavelet coefficients of each and every image so wavelets it will run, it will capture or it will retrieve the shape texture and the location information in a single and the unified framework it is going to retrieve the images which it will improves the efficiency and reduces the need for the multiple search primitives and it will computes only the one single signature for an entire image so if you are trying to retrieve the images based upon the wavelet coefficients means that is called as the wavelet based signatures next one is the wavelet based signature with region based granularity what is this wavelet based signature with the region based granularity means see if you want to focus on one region or one particular place of a image means then we will, we can go for the region based granularity so here see computation and comparison of 
signatures are at the granularity of the regions not the entire image i am not focusing on the entire image i want to focus only on the few regions or the few portions of the given images only so similar images may contain the similar regions usually so how i am going to focus on one image here so i can perform the many operations on the images like a translation operation scaling operation and a rotation operations on one region with the others so here similarity measures between the query image and the target image will be checked here based upon the region based granularities and next one is the multimedia data cube multimedia data cube means here it will contain the additional dimension that means if you want to represent the multimedia data in the form of data cubes means multi additional dimension or additional information has to be represented here that is the measures for the multimedia information like color texture and shape i can take the color information or texture or the shape information and the multimedia minor multimedia minor means here image contains the two descriptors that is the feature descriptor and a layout descriptor so original images which are not stored directly in the databases also uh, here the description information of each and every image will be there like uh, for an for a given image image file name will be there image url or the uniform resource locator that means the address of the image and what is the image type different formats of the images will be there image type and the list of keywords we are going to use here so these are the different types of descriptors we will use it for the description information next one is the feature descriptor feature descriptor means uh, i can describe the features uh, with the help of the set of vectors for the visual characteristics so main vectors are there like a uh, color vector color vector or mfc like a uh, most frequent color or the most frequent uh, orientation vector can be used here most frequent color or the most frequent orientation vector can be used here so layout descriptors like a uh, color layout vector or the edge layout vector color layout vector means i can use the most frequent color and edge layout vector means uh, the number of edges that are going to use for each and every orientation is the layout descriptor and this is the feature descriptor feature descriptor means i can use the multiple vectors here for the features here so what are the dimensions of the multimedia data cube means i can go for the size of the image which is in the form of some bytes here and width and height of the frames i can use it and date of the creation when i am going to create that particular image and what is the format type and frame sequence duration in seconds here and keywords color and the edge orientation i can use it for the dimensions of the multimedia data cubes and uh, the construction of the multimedia data cubes here uh, which will facilitates that means i can go for the multi dimensional analysis of the multimedia data here so this is completely based upon the visual content which is there in the multimedia data so how to mine the multiple kinds of knowledge here like a summarization or comparison or classification association or the clustering information how, what type of knowledge i can mine it for the multimedia data cube this is one of the output of the classifier module of a multimedia data cubes here and uh, this is difficult to implement the data cube efficiently for the large number of dimensions here so if the attributes are the set oriented instead of the single valued means uh, they have taken the example of the single image corresponds to the set of keywords here or uh, the set of objects associated with the set of colors here and uh, next one is the classification and the prediction analysis of the multimedia data how the classification and the prediction can be done on the multimedia data so here uh, we can take the few examples like uh, scientific research astronomy astronomy like uh, your space shuttles or your uh, space related applications or seismology and uh, geoscientific research applications also we can go for the classification and we can go for the decision tree classification methods also in the data mining 
and uh, if you take any sky related images here uh, we can classify by the astronomers as a training set and we can construct the models for the recognition of uh, galaxies or stars uh, based upon the properties here so i can go for uh, taking some few uh, factors like uh, magnitudes or area or intensity or the image moments and the orientation and i can take the sky images taken by the telescope uh, which are tested as the constructed models uh, to identify the new bodies of the images here so here uh, we can perform the data pre-processing and uh, we can uh, mine the image data here and mining the associations in the multimedia data like uh, association between the image content and the non-image content features so if you want to represent uh, such a type of information means we can represent by using the association rule here that is if at least 50 percent of the upper part of the picture is blue means obviously it will represent the sky so this is one sort of association rule so next turn the association can be among the image contents that are not related to the spatial relationships so let's see how if a picture contains two blue squares it is likely to contain one red circle as well and the next rule is association among the image contents related to the spatial relationships that is if a red rectangle is in between the two yellow squares it is likely there is a big oval shaped object underneath and multiple objects with multiple features are there where uh, based upon all these things we can we can represent the uh, possible association rules here and it is essential to promote the progressive resolution refinement here and uh, frequently occurring patterns are there mining we can perform the mine at the rough level and uh, focus on the finer resolution levels here so we can try to reduce the cost without loss of quality and uh, identify the pictures containing the multiple recurrent objects uh, which is an important feature in the image analysis and relative spatial relationships among the multimedia objects uh, above beneath between and nearby objects here and uh, what are the elements in the uh, MPEG-7? MPEG-7 means these are completely related to the moving images that is the moving pictures experts group here. So where a set of descriptors will be there which will define the syntax and the semantics of the features and the structure and the semantics of the relationships between its components and uh, I can use the set of uh, coding schemes for the descriptors and i can go for the description definition language here so which will facilitate the content based video retrieval and the video data mining so what is meant by video clip here a video clip it is nothing but it will contain some collection of events and actions will be there which is uh, with respect to the time here and what is meant by short a short means it is nothing but a group of frames and the pictures will gives you the short here and what is a key frame here keyframe is the most representative frame in a video can be shown as a keyframe here and the sequence of keyframes which will define the sequence of events in the video clips and last one is the audio and the video data mining so where the demand for the effective content based retrieval and the data mining methods for the audio and the video data here so example is editing the video clips detecting the suspicious scenes in the videos um so for these cases these audio and the video mining can be done here where all these uh, jpeg formats and the mpeg formats they will use to many number of uh, video compression techniques to compress all these uh, formats of the data and mpeg some formally named like multimedia content description interface here where i can use it in the broad range of applications uh, and the audio and the video visual descriptions will be there that means i can have like a still pictures videos graphics and audio speeches will be there i can mine any type of information in the audio and the video data mining here so that's all guys uh, that's all for uh, today hope you like this video please subscribe like and share thank you